co-hosting on the program today, New York Times best-selling author John Gilstrap, facing deadlines but totally chill about it. Johnny, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Smooth sailing. I love being asked about it. I love being, you know, pressured about it. How Na- you coming? Nagged about yes, it. Yeah, that's Jefferson my favorite County. thing. Prosecuting attorney Matt Harvey is in the house. Good, Matt, good morning. And uh, guests on the program include uh, a couple of guys that eight years ago and a half I went to lunch with and they said hey we're taking over we're moving in we're, we're buying the place you need to start looking for work <laughs> so not true and I said gentlemen <laughs> is there anything I can do anything I can say that would change your mind <laughs> and Height said sure pick up the tab so I picked up the tab and here I am still eight and a half years later still working here how about that it was a good meal too good meal. i yeah. appreciate it. <laughs> we were over at the palace if i remember <laughs> yeah if i remember that correctly yeah uh mr height mr hornby good to see you both good, good morning. morning good morning mr height and i have something in common few people could ever hope to share in that both you and i will be gruesomely dispatched of in mr gilstrap's book that's coming out this summer not yeah. the one he's currently finishing but the one that he is the one that comes out to send you're going to be dispatched of Yes, we'll okay. be dispatched. Dispatched of. with, I guess. Fourth with. Dispatched. Just dispatched. dispatched of. Okay. Just. I think John's got it right. Yeah. Just, 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 just dispatched. dispatched. Now you don't end a sentence in a preposition, but when you say dispatched, they always say dispatched of. Yeah. Okay. He shall be dispatched uh, of. Okay. I'm it's a, slang. I'm I'm a, I have to go. Dispatched. I have to go change that. We're, it's <laughs> slang. We're still going to be dead, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think if if uh, are, are you are you a hero in the book? Is he a hero? I, uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. sort of. Yeah. And much, much more protracted, painful death scene, though. Yeah. What, what, and I'm a, I'm a what? Uh, a, st- a snitch. <laughs> Am I OC? <laughs> OC. Organized crime? Uh, yeah. You're going to learn these terms. Yeah, I'm sorry. About them, Dave. I'm, sorry. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm not Italian. I'm not bored with this vocabulary. I have to study it. Right. So, so. so I'm OC and I, I snitch. Yes. Yeah, okay. you know, when you asked me this question like three years ago, he said to me, do you mind if I use your name in a book? And I said, uh, no. And he goes, well, you're going to die. I said, that's okay. He never mentioned the snitch. Yeah, that part. would have been a deal breaker. <laughs> right? That had to have been a deal. It would have been a deal breaker. It, it would have no been. It, I was never informed of that. Yeah, I so, don't know. But you're Italian, so I would have assumed some kind of you are, you OC. You are a talk show host, too. Sicilian. So. Yeah, Sicilian. Sicilian. Yeah, not just yeah. Yeah, not Italian. Well, it's take Sicilian. that snitching part seriously. Yeah. Maybe he can re- did. resurrect <laughs> you or that the snitching was actually double like you were snitching but is, you were giving them all good, false but you didn't save like that yeah. You, yeah. You, you didn't turn snitch until they killed your kid they they violated the code oh, and they then they killed your kid and then you got angry was my snitched. kid oc or my, was it was yeah. he a civilian no, he's, he's, a, he's a little boy he's like listen 15. john here's how you need to write your book and here's how you need to <laughs> tell the story thank you I, I i did submit it to the committee for approval i didn't hear from you but it was uh, <laughs> all right well i guess if uh if there's extenuating circumstances I might consider and possibilities. And that Zero Sum is the name of that book. comes out next month. Zero Sum. How many pages into the book does, does Height live? Way longer than you. <laughs> 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 I think you die in the first 70 pages or so, and you're in the last 25 or so. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. So Height's got to read the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can bug out he's after start, 70 He's going to start at the back yeah. and read <laughs> like a magazine. Well, No, it doesn't read vertically. You have to read it <laughs> side to side. It's odd in that way uh, do any cultures read right to left sure yeah yes. i think they're yeah. japanese they read right to left i think hebrew is back is, is, right, is it right to left i think so yeah. yeah russian too i think right russians right to left i think it is yeah there's I a I there's, can't, there's I can't a can't even recognize the, the letters but. Oh, okay. it's escaping me but there's a great quote where they put like country something something god and then they said well i'm in our country we, we read from right to left I, I have to get that quote that would have been appropriate if i could have remembered Good story. Thanks. <laughs> hey, let's talk about our next topic, Rob. <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I have this. So I have th- I have three people in the room who have done a, a very good thing for the state of West Virginia, right? Some might even say heroic, in that they went out to preserve and save a document to make sure it stayed in the state's uh, borders. Yes. And or came back to the borders. Yeah, came back. Came back to us. Came home. Yeah, and then and who wants to start the story? You might. So yeah. So this was about a, be about a month ago. It actually started on our Facebook uh, 
page, J.R. Yeah. Fox. Hold uh, that up while you're talking. Well, actually, Colin's got a digital copy. He can oh, show that. Even better. But, yeah. um, that's the actual official copy. So J.R. Fox brought up that this document was going on sale that evening, one Thursday evening. Uh, and it was on sale for like $15,000. So I called Height up. And I said, hey, you want to go in on this with me? And, you know, typical Mike fashion. Yeah, let's do it. Let's find a couple of partners. And, and not, not necessarily for sale, but for auction. Yeah. So we didn't know what the price was going to be. Yeah, we didn't know where it would be. So I came in here, and I thought, you know, who's the guy I know with the biggest bag of cash? And it was John Gilstrap. I was like, John. Because Stubblefield wasn't co hosting Stubblefield that day. wasn't here that day. <laughs> and, and the reason John is wealthy, because he doesn't spend his money, he told me to go to hell. <laughs> I did not. I did not. I, I said, no, thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. But Harvey was sitting right there. He goes, I want in. So it, it ended up in uh, Elliot Pritt, another delegate, Mike Height, myself, and, and Mr. Harvey. We, we went a little over budget, but we ended up purchasing that, that, that Lincoln document, the document that uh, – enabled Mr. Lamb to uh, have West Virginia secede from Virginia. So, And it should be noted that Harvey doesn't have the money yet, but because of the Supreme Court decision, he'll be able to get the money a lot sooner. <laughs> the money has been paid. Yeah. No, so he's going to get it to you after a couple of garbage truck contracts have been settled. So explain the historical significance. Why did somebody have to get paid for the state to secede? So they had to organize, and he had to have the ability to... Um, organize within the state of West, uh, state of Virginia to get the votes and get the, the people. And Matt knows a lot more about So it. they well, seceded it, from the Confederate states? Yes. Okay. Well, this was early on. This was in 1861. This was signed in October of 1861. So very early on in the conflict. And it was under, and um, as I mentioned earlier off the air, this was Secretary of, of War um, uh, Simon Cameron. And he, so this was in within the first year of Lincoln's presidency, and it there was an act in Congress that appropriated uh, today's equivalent of seventy million dollars, two million dollars then, for people who were loyal to the Union to have munitions, resources to and organize to be able to rem stay loyal and protect those that are loyal to the Union. And why was West Virginia, I mean, D.C. sits where it does, and you've got Northern Virginia, Robert E. Lee, the Army of Northern Virginia surrounds the southern part of, of the District of Columbia. West Virginia sits way out there. Why was it of strategic significance at the time? Well, I, I think the railroad. Part of, part of it was the, the railroad. railroad. Yeah, yeah the, originally, I mean, when when the secession started, um, it did not include the the Panhandle states, Jefferson and Berkeley in particular. Um, those came a little a little further down the line um, because of the railroads, because of the significance in Martinsburg and and um, and Harper's Ferry. Um, and I was talking to Mike uh, yesterday about, you know, the whole secession of West Virginia and that, you know, there, there's a way in which a, a state has to secede from another state and the separations and, and that it has to be an act of Congress. Both sides have to agree. And West Virginia didn't go through the whole process. They didn't get the whole process done. Um, and Virginia, after the war, wanted to reunite and West Virginia at the time was like, no, we don't want to reunite. And it went to, to Congress. And, and I think uh, it was either Abraham Lincoln or Congress sided with West Virginia um, at that time because of their loyalty to the Union and because Virginia had been a secession state. So uh, they got well, There had been tensions prior to the Civil yes. War between the eastern part of Virginia and the western part. So at the time this document was signed, uh -huh. Virginia had already seceded. No, and had, Virginia, not. No. had not. Had no. not. No, this was early on. This was this was when it was still the old Dominion was was okay. So still Virginia full. was still part of the United States. It it acknowledged that it was still part of the United States. Virginia yeah. did. Uh, I don't know. This was at, this would have been after Virginia voted to secede. Yes. I, I believe. Okay, so and Daniel did, Lamb and, was a. Let me get back to this. Okay. Daniel Lamb, I, I think this is pretty significant Was and interesting, was, uh, you know, as the two mics here are delegates, so was Daniel Lamb. He was a delegate to the, f the first two wheeling conventions, really. And um, he was also the, um, he was a, an attorney, which is, affects me, and the first 
code of West Virginia was started was he was uh, given that task to write the code. And so the first code of West Virginia was the, called the Lamb Code for Daniel Lamb. Considered, considered the founder of West Virginia by many, Daniel Lamb was, because he codified um, all the laws and in, in the Constitution of West Virginia. So when I look at this document, it's, it's really interesting because there are scratches out. It looks like it originally said Secretary Treasury. of the Treasury. Yeah. Scratch that out, they put Secretary of War. And then there's a lot of interstitial writing mm -hmm. between what looks to be essentially a stencil kind of right what is so the writing is the the amount of the money that was uh, appropriated uh what his duties were and the purpose he, of and, and the purpose of what he was trying to do so he could be he could arm his people he could he could he couldn't be prosecuted for doing what he was doing and and the green blotch is actually a raised seal it's yeah. really cool so who held this document uh, it, it was at a now. it was a at an auction house in California. I, I, I don't know the actual name of the person who owned it. It was, it was out of an estate. Out of an estate. Yeah, that's what had they had it for a hundred years. No, um, it had sold. I want to say probably ten, twelve, fifteen years ago. It was. It had, this has been an auction item previously. When you it get sold it, out of Boston before. When you get a document like this, do you get its entire history in terms of who owned it? And no, you get uh, you get a certificate of uh, we had, we got it auth authenticated uh, independently outside of the auction house. Yeah, uh, the auction house all authenticated it, and then we said, "Well, you're the one selling it." Mike says, "You know, I want a, a third party authentication." So we paid a little extra to have it authenticated by a, the people that actually do that and can say yes this is an authentic signature of abraham lincoln and of uh of the secretary of now, mr gilstrap you had some questions about the signature at first i did when i first looked at it the vast majority of documents you see or a lincoln is how he said mm -hmm. signs yes. his name it's really pretty rare to see abraham lincoln the, the name abraham spelled out and yes. it's it's really in great shape too we uh for a 160-year-old document that was carried around the countryside in Virginia, we thought it was so. That's my next question. Actually, so this document itself, at the time, is this something that Daniel Lamb carried with him? He would have to carry it with him to to certify and show. So, um, you could. It's see like it. a get out of jail free card, yeah. John, mm -hmm. yeah. for from the 1861. And did he have a saddlebag full of money? The the two million dollars? Yeah, I I don't know how that works. I, I don't know if they sent cash or they may have they probably did, but they um, I'm sure that there was some, he could raise arms, send a bill in, and it would get paid. Right. What was the total cost of this document at auction? We ended up uh, just under twenty thousand dollars. And what do you intend to do with it? Well, we haven't quite. This, obviously, we want to get into the archives uh, in, in Charleston. I mean, that that's the goal. Um, but we, we haven't come up with a solid uh, plan yet to, to decide how we're doing that. Have you been in touch with Randall Reed Smith? We have. What does he have to he's say? He's very excited. He's giddy. He's always excited, though. <laughs> so. No, he's giddy right yeah. now. He's always giddy, though, <laughs> yeah. too. So. We had him on the show, Nonstop yeah. Energy. Uh, I, he I, is. I was nervous driving it over to the print shop so that we could make a copy of it. And, and opening it, and, and Matt was there. It, it, it's, I can't, yeah. once, <laughs> it's awesome. Mike came over to the house. Once you open it, you realize, wow, I, I don't even want to touch it. Abraham Lincoln touched yeah. this. It, yeah. it, it's pretty cool. And Simon Cameron and mm -hmm. Daniel Lamb. Yeah, yeah. And who, who, who knows who else? But Abraham Lincoln, all, all, the, all, all the loyalists that, that started Ex West Virginia. Extremely significant document to the state of West Virginia. And we felt that we just wanted also, to get back to West Virginia. Civil War it has a sure. significant importance as well. Um, it's it it is. It's West Virginia was created in unique circumstances, and um, legally murky waters. And um, they were still fighting these cases into the early 1900s, weren't they? Yeah. Well, I don't I don't know when, but there was subsequent cases after the Civil War. Jefferson Jefferson County being one of them tried to go back to Virginia. Mm -hmm. And I mean, think about just in today's terms, the president giving the ability for a citizen to have arms and and create a force to protect other uh, Americans or at that time Virginians against other you know citizens of this country. Mm -hmm. Was it's incredible. There, was there violent resistance put up to keep West Virginia from seceding from Virginia? Yes. Yes, there sure. was there. The first land battle of the Civil War is recognized in Philippi, West Virginia. That's true. The Philippi races, 
And um, see, so yeah, look, John, just some people, just some people that lived on the western side of the Allegheny Mountains were tired of Richmond not hearing them. The Civil War broke out. Uh, this was their chance. They, and they just said, let's create a government, the restored government. And they just met and started making laws and, and taking official actions under this. So it was completely contentious. And then, and then after uh, Lincoln authorized the, the secession, there was some, some direct Civil War attacks. Some two brigades were sent into West Virginia to hit the railroads is what you normally do uh, to, to wreak havoc in those times. And on day one, the day after the secession, there was some controversy as to what it was going to be called, right? It wasn't West Virginia sure. on day one. Was, yeah. that, was that right, or was it? Canal was Kanawha. the first was the first name that was um, before before the first convention. It was going to be Canal. Canal yeah. Vandalia, Vandalia was another Vandalia. name that was battered around yeah. Westylvania. Mm. Um, I know Rob. Got, he's like, ah, that should have been <laughs> that should have been the one that got away, right? That was the one that got away. No, I was smiling West because I kept thinking that's Jason Barrett's daughter's, daughter's name. Daughter's name. <laughs> well, that's and that's why and the, because yeah. that that yeah. name oh, has yeah. significant West Virginia oh, yeah. history, and uh, you know, smart on on him to in, in summer to do that. Crafty, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have Vandalia Health in West mm-hmm. Virginia. There we have a Vandalia Festival. So we have an onion. That's yeah, Vidalia. Yeah. That's Vidalia. Ah, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah. So is this, is this something that you could see being displayed prominently at, uh, in, in the Capitol somewhere? Well, that, well that's, where Ran- that's, where Randall's, what? that's where Randall's going to come in. We're obviously going to get a meeting with the governor's office and with Randall, and, and we're going to get it down to Charleston first. Uh, Miss Elaine Mark's coming over to the house this evening to put it in a more easier transported uh position so she's, she's got a lot of her medically experience. sealed yeah she's got a lot of experience with with documents like this. Documents, so yeah. uh, have you gotten advice on light exposure and all that stuff no yeah. light exposure for now is what we're going for we don't want it um we, we made the copy made sure we were allowed to make a copy because i didn't want the Xerox machine the mike's machine to wipe out all the ink yeah. <laughs> it wasn't one that you had to no, shoot through was no, 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 set no, down no, on the yeah, glass yeah. right yeah, yeah absolutely and, and i wasn't there when he shaking. did it i went over i asked last night to come over to his house because that's where i said i want to see it and, and and his first reaction was like no and i was like well wait a minute <laughs> you know i paid for it yeah harvey and you got to see it i have a stake in this and and so i went over and and the whole time he was like a nervous wreck i mean he was up and down and around in circles and stuff like that don't touch it like that and, you know i was like oh my god mike you settle down <laughs> he's like that with the equipment here too. yes yes uh but you is it you in good shape it's in really good shape is it it doesn't feel like if you lifted it up it would fall apart no no but it feels like if you the seams are because it's been folded yeah the seams are you, and, and every time you delicate, open up delicate, the fold, yeah you, you're, it makes you you could easily nervous rip it. yeah yeah <laughs> if you don't pay attention mm-hmm. so. But it, it, I was surprised at the quality of it. Yeah. When when I looked at it, I was like, and you can see there's wow. some stains on there from whether whether it's you know, gunpowder, but something <laughs> it, it stopped it, the bullet. You can see the, the, the age. See, of you it. can see where it's folded up and it stopped the bullet, right? <laughs> yeah. Daniel Lamb's blood. It's I'm a, kidding. So I want to get each of your own individual reasons for why you decided to go into your own pocket and make this uh, something that would. Come back to West Virginia, Mike. Height you first. Well, I, just because of the historical significance of it, and it, I did not <clears throat> particularly want to see it in a um, a private collection. Uh, no offense, Matt. Um, I think this is a a a piece of West Virginia history, and uh, I wanted to see it return to West Virginia. I want to see it stay in West Virginia, um, and you know, I would like to see it uh, displayed in some form or fashion at either the Capitol or the, the uh, Cultural Center uh, in, at the state Capitol. Mr. Hornby? So for me, you know, as an immigrant, um, I, I don't know as much history about America as, as these guys do because we didn't learn it in school as much. But for me, it was the Abraham Lincoln signature, the West Virginia history of it, and just the importance of, of freedom and what this country stands for. And I think that was why I... Yeah. made that decision and you know i want to thank matt mike and elliot for helping out for those of you who don't know the mike hornby story grew up in zimbabwe moved to the united states 18 was it 19 19 yeah. years old yeah yeah 
And uh, there's a lot more detail than that. Some of it's uh, pretty scary stuff, too, including living through a civil war. Yeah. So that, you know, for me, that was the, the, the biggest thing was this is a part of not only West Virginia history, but U.S. history. And I uh, love this country. Love West Virginia. Are you, are you able or you want to share the, the Uzi story? No, no. no. <laughs> I just didn't know if it was public knowledge no, or not. No, no. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mr. Harvey? Just wanted to bring it home. It just, I, I, I was like, it's in, it's in California. Yeah, it it needs to be here. The last place it should be. Yeah, right. and, and I don't know if it. Re- Look, I don't know. the The auction house was located in California. Was it actually in California? I mean, I know it was at the auction house, but did, did, did the owner live in California? I don't know. But it just, I heard California, this historical piece of West Virginia history. I I love this state. I'm. This is my home. This has been my home. It's my family's home. Um, this is be my daughter's home. And this, that document needs to come home. That's I'm, it. I mean, Matt took about 32 seconds to make his decision. It was like once he, he read it and he looked at it, he was like, oh, this has to get, this has to be here. Yeah. We, we got to do whatever it takes. Uh, that evening during the auction, I had to call Matt because I said, oh, somebody else is is bid on this thing and there's a 20 percent buyer's premium on this it's it's going to be a little more expensive than we had planned so uh we just said hey you know what let's let's make one last bid and fortunately we, we got it so yeah i think all of us at that point were <laughs> we were committed we were like oh, whatever whatever you know yeah okay. and he's like yeah somebody else is bidding on it i was like yeah whatever just just buy the damn thing is, yeah. is there a possibility that the state would buy it from you and for, for some costs we, we would absolutely probably sell it to the state at cost if we had to yeah i mean that that that, that would be the ultimate goal is and we know the government can't move that fast because i think it only started rumbling through west virginia the day of or maybe the day before yeah, the auction was... so it was like 48 hours you had to make a decision you know, the government can't make that decision that fast. So uh, maybe we can raise some money to, to get it donated to us to the state. We, have one we of have you lots of options. Have one of you or somewhere online? It's very, it's actually a difficult document to read because mm-hmm. of the, the yes. handwriting. Is is it translated somewhere in uh, yeah. readable form? Yes. Yeah, I th- think the um, the auction house when it was gave us up for auction, they, it it spelled out what exactly it was saying. Okay. Because it is, it is difficult to read a little bit. Yeah, because I would like to see that. Yeah. Well, it, yeah, I don't have a full transcription, but I, but my wife and I were looking at our copy last night, one of our copies last night, and it was fun trying to figure out some of the words. But the gist of it is uh, mostly you can make out. Yeah. Does it define West Virginia as West Virginia? Or no. no. Is it? No. no it was too that early. Was, this was 1861. Right? Yeah. West Virginia was... Um, so how does it define 63. the place of... It just gives him the ability to organize, keep munitions, gives him the money, and then it gives him the uh, immunity, if you will, to go out and make sure... To patients. the loyal citizens of the state. But the purpose is not necessarily laid out here in this document. It's, the... it's to keep... They knew that the... Uh, western part of virginia was not happy with being part right. of the south okay. so that that this was the first start gentlemen thanks so much for uh bringing this in and what you did thank you very much thank you cool stuff